So I'm going to open the flash food app here. This is one way Luke Nichols saves money on groceries. I found some cinnamon bagels here. I'm going to using a food waste app that connects him to discount products at grocery stores and allows him to pay less for food that might otherwise be thrown out. As food prices rise and people start feeling the constraints like I am, um, that they, you know, they look to the alternatives. About 20% of food produced in Canada each year ends up going to waste and there are several companies now trying to tap into that. The growth we've seen in Canada has been really the fastest we've seen across any of the other countries we've launched. For another app called Too Good To Go, the company says part of that growth is about timing because it entered the Canadian market just as food prices were rising. As we're all faced and pinched with the challenges of food inflation, our platform is, is a great avenue to be able to get great value. I can increase the number of coupons. Restaurants like this Montreal bubble tea shop use the app to sell what's left over at the end of the day at cheaper prices. We are practically becoming zero food waste facility. And that's just one way consumers are cutting costs. Others are shopping at stores like this one in Calgary, specializing in selling produce near the end of its shelf life and drawing in customers with low prices. Being a, a, a low income senior, I'm trying to stretch the dollar as much as I can and eat as healthy as I can. When things aren't perfect, there's, they have some blemishes or they have a few days left on them, they, we, we listen for a cheaper price, they're still perfectly good to eat. Food rescue apps and discount produce stores are good tools, but bigger changes are needed, says this food systems expert. There's just a lot of opportunities around shortening the food supply chain, growing in the city, growing in peri-urban areas that we really should take advantage of. She says that would be one step towards a less wasteful and more equitable food system. Alison Northcott, CBC News, Montreal.